Uh, I was gonna say good morning, but it's definitely 12.30. <laughs> good afternoon, everybody. My hair is tied back. Look at how long my hair is getting. It is getting wild. Today, I am going snowmobiling with Susan. She ran into the store. She's not in here right now. Um, but I'm going snowmobiling with Susan and Doug, and it's gonna be so much fun. I haven't gone snowmobiling since I've been up here in Montana, and to be completely honest, it's been rather depressing, only because we haven't gotten a lot of snow. I've talked about that in previous vlogs, but it's just been so unusually warm and it really, it makes my heart so sad because last year, I think last year or the year before, I can't remember, me and Blake came up to visit during Christmas time and it was consistently like negative eight degrees and we would get snow every day. And at one point I think we got like a foot of snow and everything was white for the entire time that we were up here. But we just, we haven't gotten a lot of snow. So I'm really hoping we're gonna get some before I mean, before too much longer, we're already, you know, midway through January, which is mind blowing in and of itself. Because of all of that, we haven't really had a chance to go snowmobiling here where we live. So we're going to this place called West Fork and they have a decent amount more snow and Doug has the snowmobiles and we're gonna go snowmobiling. So let's see how this goes. So we just went snowmobiling and we went through a creek, which worked out, it was fine. And it was fun, huh? It was, it was super fun. And we also saw a mama moose and a baby moose. And they like to hang out in these, these willows, these reeds over here. Um, so we've been keeping our eye out. There's some fresh tracks over here, but um, so far we've only seen those two. I'll try to catch it next time. I just fall backwards. I know, I will. <laughs> The oh moose are not going to know what that is. That's so cold on my hands. <laughs> How are you going to get up? I don't know yet. <laughs> well, that's not very gracefully. <laughs> Do you have a ramp for today? Um, Doug's ramp of the day. Walk back to the outhouse and back and you'll see how out of shape you are. Okay, we're just about ready to go again. We're going to head on back and it's going to be so much fun. And I hope we can see the moose again. We're going to try to see if we can find him. Did he get a rock in there? See what? No, but... But wouldn't that make sense why it's not going? We weren't going through the, the creek and it isn't working now. Oops.
I think it just was lower to the ground, so it got a little more. Yeah, let me close that up. You gotta do it more. Nope. I feel like there's maybe a rock like up in the belt that's preventing it from going. Oh, there is, you're right. Oh, I freaking called it. The, right when it stopped, I was like, I think she sucked up a rock. It's right here. I get the rock to turn. What happens if you force the belt some more? Well, it doesn't move the rock. It might push it back. Oh. Oh, there there we go. Good idea, Katie. Uh, I saved the day. I saved the day. Oh. Look at that rock. I freaking called that one. You need to keep this as a souvenir. Uh, you know what? You can hold on to that. <laughs> now let's test it. Turn it on and make sure it goes. Woo! It works! It goes! <laughs> okay, so we just got done snowmobiling. Is my face super pink? A little bit, not too bad. That was so much fun. I haven't been snowmobiling in such a long time and it always just feels so good to get out and in the fresh air and playing in the snow and this was just like the perfect day to do it. The sky, like, we got the perfect weather for it today. It was clear and not too cold, but not too warm either. So it was really just, that was, that was just so awesome. <laughs> Look at all of these power cords and everything. Yeah, this is how it looks when I need to charge my batteries for, um, filming videos. I'm so excited because I got my new leggings in the mail. As you can see, gosh, this mirror is so dirty. But um, yeah, I mentioned these in a couple vlogs back and I love these leggings so much. I'm really excited because today I'm actually gonna be filming a workout video. It's gonna be an at-home workout video and I haven't done one of these in a really long time, but I really like them because it makes I don't know, it makes exercising easy to do for everybody. Like you don't need gym equipment or anything. And I think that's part of the draw to them. Before I got into going to the gym and working out a ton, I would watch so many at home workout videos. So um, that's what I'm gonna be filming today and I'm really excited about it, but I'm waiting for my batteries to charge. And that's kind of where I'm at with that. I'm also trying to figure out where I wanna film this. I do wanna film it outside just because it is such a gorgeous day, but I want the mountains in the background and the mountains are over here. Like, I don't know, maybe out here or something. Cause then you'll get the beautiful mountains in the background. I don't know, I'm figuring this out. <laughs> There's people here though. I'm not gonna film. So part of the deal where I live is um, Susan technically lives on a ranch, right? And so the ranch has a ranch manager and the ranch manager's job is to come by and make sure like the ranch is working properly and the fencing is all up and all of this stuff. The issue with that is the ranch manager comes every day. <laughs> um, and so if I wanna be by myself, if I wanna film something outside by myself and not have like this ranch manager give me weird looks. I kind of have to wait for him to go away. But then again, I am waiting for my batteries to charge anyway, so maybe this works out okay. Also, I don't know if you guys are following me on Instagram, but if you are not, check out what I made the other day. Come to me. I made pierogies. Oh, they're so good. It was interesting though, because I got so many questions from people in my DMs on Instagram being like, what the heck is a pierogi? It's funny because I always knew about pierogies. Like pierogies have never been like that exotic of a food to me. So I didn't realize it wasn't like a, I don't know, a known thing to a lot of people. But a pierogi is basically like a central slash Eastern European um, dumpling, basically. And those dumplings can be stuffed with all kinds of different things. Usually the traditional like Polish pierogies are stuffed with like potatoes and meat and cheese. And they're usually served with like fried onions and stuff on the side and some sour cream. These ones that I made are actually a vegan version. So I stuffed it with like vegan cream cheese, 
onions, potatoes, and mushrooms all mixed up and it's so good. It is seriously like one of my favorite things ever. I've made it a handful of times. I'll link the recipe that I used in the description bar below if you wanna make them yourself. Highly recommend giving it a try. I really love them. The Something to keep in mind though is that they're rather time intensive to make like you're essentially making dumplings and so you have to roll out the dough and cut it into circles and stuff each individual pierogi close it and then cook it how you want to and you have to do that with every single one and so it can be kind of time consuming so usually what i end up doing is as you can see with those pierogies is i make them huge um, usually pierogies are like tiny maybe not tiny but not not as big as the ones that i made i was like i don't have time for this so i just made them big and they're really good so highly recommend giving it a try and if you do give it a try try it with sauerkraut and i know that that's going to turn a lot of people off because sauerkraut isn't like a, a yummy tasty thing to a lot of people but do give it a try the flavors like balance each other out really well and they are it's just a really great combination polish people know what's up I don't, I don't think I have a lick of Polish in my blood either, so I don't know. I just really like pierogies. It's like they're gonna get the horses ready to go on a ride. That's cool. This zoom on this lens is fantastic. <laughs> I can get into all the little details and nobody knows I'm even here. Wow. Okay, so since I'm waiting for my batteries to charge, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm gonna need this camera to film my workout video. For today's question of the day, have you guys done any I don't want to say extreme sports because I don't think snowmobiling is like that extreme, but what is like the, what's the craziest sport that you've ever tried that isn't your typical baseball, tennis, football, like standard sports? Have you ever gone snowmobiling or four wheeling or I don't know, motorcycle racing? Tell me about the craziest sport you've ever participated in and let me know how it went for you in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time. Bye.